Soaking up the pre-match atmosphere here as we wait for things to get started. Won't be long now before we get through the formalities. A warm welcome, one and all. The teams then, Fenerbahce against Bayer Leverkusen. I'm Peter Drury, and this is Jim Beglin. Hi, everyone, and thanks, Peter. It's great to be on board. Fenerbahce are in a 4-5-1 formation. Well, it's a system that requires the right balance from the five in midfield and supporting the attack and, and obviously protecting the back four. Soldado. Baumgartlinger gets it back. Mehmedi. Now the pass. Looks to thread it through. Yeah, very careless, and uh, I leave it at that. Leno sends that a long way. Plays it out to the flank. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? He's been taken down, and the referee has pointed at the spot. Fenerbahce have given away a penalty. Well, the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? That's as calm as you like. Oh, you could always see he was confident about that. He always looked like he was going to score. Leverkusen have an early lead. Good start. Rain starting to fall here. It has been looking that way for a little while. Passes it through. Now here's the through ball. Oh, sweet feet. That intervention was very necessary. Tries to get it forward quickly. So what now? And it's Soldado. Baumgartlinger gets it back. Isla with a good steal, well played. Tries a through ball. Cut out in the nick of time. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Benabache are already chasing the game. Long time to go. The only consolation at this stage is that they've got a lot of time on their side. You try to find a positive for any eventuality, and while well, an early concession is... He's had a shot! <laughs> Last bender. Left lady. Big one in. 
Now can he finish? Out wide to the right. Mehmedi. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. Well, he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Skirtle. Looks like a good ball through. Timely intervention. Down Bartlinger. Mehmedi. Mehmedi. Oh, try as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. Stuck out a leg for a good challenge. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Bartlinger. Bellarabi. Battles to win it back. The ball's come loose and the chase is on. That lady pumps it into the area. Oh, that probably deserved better. Better Bache can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Defending, but that'll do. Looks to slip it through. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Skirtle. Soldado. Isla. Soldado! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Leave it clear. That's right, Soltado. Left baby. And here's the chance to counter. Gets wrestled off the ball. Soltado. Baumgart Linger cuts it out. Last bender. Baumgart Linger. And it's Mehmedi. Mehmedi plays it into the channel. Valbuena. Just stood firm. <laughs> Met Mady. Goes wide. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Valbuena goes looking. Aimed low and direct. Looks to clip it forward. Skirtle. Knocks it away. It's a brilliant interception. Approaching half time and still behind. Can they make something happen now? Oh, it's Soltado. Soltado. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. 
Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Now it's Soltado. Whistle's gone, that's uh, foul. Valpuena! Hoisted clear. And a run. Last bender. That lady spreads it towards the left. Looks like a good ball through. Soldado. Tries a through ball. And the half-time whistle goes. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. on the way. Fenerbahce don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back though. Bend. Over to the left. And it's Bellarabi. Played out to the wing. Well, Buena did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. That needed to end with efficiency and incision, and we got neither. Well, Buena with a delicate ball. Bellarabi. Down Bartlinger. Mehmedi. Passes it through. He's got options out wide. And he just whacks it away. Bayer Leverkusen making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front. And this is something different. Shoots! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. on it and it's Bender great strength too strong for his opponent really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out get the better of his opposite number down Bartlinger Still chasing the game trailing by one he'll have a tip has got rid of that forward it goes tries to dink it heads it and in it goes and this is getting better and better produced a lovely sequence of passes there it's a terrific brand of football to watch and importantly it is a strong end product
uh, Leverkusen have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Benabache still have two substitutions up their sleeve. Now the pass. Loose ball. Looks like a good ball through. Oh, Red, he sorted that out. There really wasn't very much in that. Far away from being a telling final ball. Uh, that was just poor decision making and a weak execution. And now they can launch a counter. Just brushed off the ball there. Tries to get it forward quickly. Bender aimed long and direct. Mehmedi long and high towards the flank, and it's hoisted clear by a Leverkusen as though they're about to make a change. Sport. Hoists it high. By a Leverkusen claiming a corner, and the referee concurs. Oh, fists it away. Goes for the cross. ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there. And it's Baumgart clicker, deftly done. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Soldado. Dicks one in. Shoots! to slip it through. Bellarabi. Beautifully done. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. And it's the goalkeepers to claim. Valbuena. Valbuena, great strength, too strong for his opponent. Soldado. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Oh, it's Soldado. Soldado, Bender gets it back. Now it's Soldado, and Soldado! Oh, should have put that away. Well, that's a real shame, because it could have led to a real momentum shift. Activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. 
I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Turns and goes back. Passes it. Is it in? They've scored! Oh, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. on the touchline, a change about to occur. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. We have got ourselves a game here. I think they've done so well to get back in it, but it's important now that they don't become over-eager in chasing another. They only need one more chance. Patience is key. Kiesling with the ball through. Gets into some space. Can he deliver? Up he gets! Fantastic from Kiesling! Great header, made it look easy. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Leverkusen could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Tries lifting it over. And the ball is out of play. Linger goes up and over, back into the middle, hits one! He's left. Soldado, one of the better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Last bender. More than happy to take the muscular approach. He's come loose. Get the better of his opposite number. Time added on will be two minutes. Tries a through ball. What a run from a defender. Up to meet it! And that's it. Well, that is not the outcome they were after. A truly disappointing defeat. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Fenerbahce never really got into this game. I think conceding early as they did seemed to completely undermine what, whatever had been put in place before they left that dressing room, and they just didn't readjust to it at all. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you.
So hello and a warm welcome to all of you worldwide. We're just waiting for the central characters to make their appearance and then we will be underway. And our live game is Fiorentina against Monaco. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beckett. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. Fiorentina shape up in a 4-5-1. Well, it's a system that requires the right balance from the five in midfield in supporting the attack and, and obviously protecting the back four. Things on the way. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? I'm going to pick Jean Moutinho. And he's gone for it! Fabinho. Sidibe. There two. Patel. There too. Floats one over. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Donassi encouraged the pass with an intelligent run, but the pass just lacked pace. Camille Glick. Volcao spreads it wide. Keita. Looking to get on the end of this. And it's Fabinho. Fabinho passes it through. Crunching tackle. Keita. It's alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Plays it out to the flank. Fabinho. Fiorentina putting their opponents under a lot of pressure in the early stages. Tries a through ball. Keita looking to get on the end of this. Wondering who wants it. Over it comes. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Forward it goes. 
battles to win it back. And it's Teo, who's brushed off the ball there. Tries to get it forward quickly. So a third of the match, or thereabouts, gone, and we... Has a pop! Goal! Fiorentina! First blood drawn! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Fabinho, deftly done. Good defending, he knew he had to stop it right there. Fiorentina are enjoying this surprise lead. Badel. It's Teo. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Alcau with a delicate ball. That'll be a throw. Now it's Keita, Keita crosses, knocks it away, looks to clip it, he's had a shot! Oh, great save, real class! Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Another corner. There two. Joe Moutinho. Defending was strong and firm. Now it's Keita. The only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. Aimed long and direct. Tries lifting it over. Whistle goes, he's been given offside. Fabinho tries to get it forward quickly and he's made sure that that won't get through A good challenge stood up well against his man aimed long and direct could move up a gear here looks to slip it through and the weighted pass, looking to shoot! Patel. There two. And it's Teo. Gets on the end of it. Can he finish? Oh, 
City B. Forward it goes. Falcao. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Long and high towards the flank. It is a corner, good chance. Ditch defending, but that'll do. Hoists it high. It's a brilliant interception. Fiorentina are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. Floats one over. It's a fabulous position. And that has been clubbed away. Fabinho lobs it in gently. And it's Teo. Dinks one in. Oh, good interception. Patel. That two tries to. It's an end! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. And the first half is done. Well, there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Fiorentina, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. There's the start of the second half. Fiorentina carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Balcao plays it into the channel. Now the pass. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? And now they can launch a counter. Another piece of really good defending. It's Teo. Can he finish? Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. It so nearly came off for him. Yeah, he's been at the centre of a lot of things, hasn't he? Uh, mostly good, I should add. Keita with a long pass out wide. There's no flag! That's a throw. Fabinho plays a clever pass. Too much on it, and that's the keepers. Tries to get it forward quickly. There too. It's Teo. Out wide to the right. Has it out wide now. Time to deliver. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. And the counter is on. There too. Fiorentina are still that goal to the good. side really getting hold of the ball can he finish City Bay tries to switch the play that'll be a throw in There to Patel. Falcao. Played out to the wing. 
Keita. That intervention was very necessary. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. Aimed low and direct. Long shell pass, that's the message there. Sidibe. Fabinho. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, the message they're sending out now is pretty loud and clear. Let's grab a second goal and, and give ourselves an element of comfort. And it's Teo. Fiorentina ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there. Looks like a good ball through. Keita going through. It's Keita! It's Teo. Now it's Falcao. It's Teo. Cuts it out. Gets it upfield. Long and high towards the flank. Now it's Keita. Keita! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. The timing of the pass and run was exquisite. Good challenge. He just stood for Shoots! And he's there to make a great save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Monaco look as though they're about to make a change. Gets up to head it! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Well, the look on his face says it all. Forward it goes. Jean Moutinho. then in quick succession well for me this was the obvious substitution he'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that he was most likely to make a mistake I think sometimes when the body becomes tired the brain goes with it and I think that's happened in this case Monaco are definitely not going down without a scrap their attitude just can't be faulted There too. Fabinho. And the weighted pass. Now here's the through ball. Monaco are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. This lead is tight, but it does look as though it may see them through. Three from three coming into today, soon to be four wins from four. It is a terrific run. Hit long and direct. Fiorentina are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Oh, well, 
intercepts it, really alerts the danger. Looks to thread it through. Falcao hits it! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Beautifully worked to take the defence out of the picture, but there'll be no rush to see the replay on this. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. It's gone for a throw-in. Jovetic played out to the wing. In comes the cross. Monaco have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Fiorentina are on the verge of a pretty special win, but they've got some hanging on to do here. Gets it back. Fiorentina can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Tries to dink it in. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue the situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Gets wrestled off the ball. And that is that. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. And there's a lot more to read into this game than just the scoreline. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.
Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. And our live game is Sparta Prague against Galatasaray. This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Hello Peter and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. Sparta Prague line up in a 4-3-3. Well, in this formation, the wide players can be the most attacking and sometimes a pair of extra fullbacks. Tries a through ball. In comes the delivery. Fakuli. Solchuk Inan. Belanda. Maikon. Solchuk Inan. Belanda. Mariano. He's having a look round. Now the pass. Can he score? Saved only by poor finishing. Galatasaray have really got the wind in their sails, and I'm not sure whether this team has an anchor. Cadlitz goes looking. Biabiani going through. That intervention was very necessary. Belanda. Mariano. And it's Belanda. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Mavuba. Afata. And the weighted pass. Looking for a decent ball in. Forward it goes. Hitler's on the back foot. Solchuk Inan. Sparta Prague are pressing with energy in the opening moments of the game. Looks like a good ball through. Aimed long and direct. Looking to break out here. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Tries to dink it in. Faguli. A oh, glorious footwork. I think that's a goal kick. Yes, the referee concurs. Mavuba. And it's Biabiani. Sparta Prague, yet to have a shot on target. And that's a throw. A 
Matomo. Faguli. Played into the middle. He's got his range wrong there. Just brushed off the ball there. Inan plays it forward. Now here's the through ball. Up to meet it! And he just whacks, and a second time! And that's caused a worry or two. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Vuba, Semikaya, and it's Vacha. Cadlex, Mavuba looks to thread it through. Timely intervention. Belanda. To the left it goes. Nagatomo. In with a header! He will be livid with himself. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Mavuba. Fakuli tries to get it forward quickly, dashing forward at pace. Belanda passes it through. It's got through to Solchuk Inan! Goal! Galatasaray! And Galatasaray have the lead! However they tried to stand in his way, he just was not to be denied. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't seem on. It's really crafty business, that. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Solchuk Inan. A real chance to break. Looks like a good ball through. The shot's on! And he's there to make a great save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Oh, he really wanted that. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious. He's one of the biggest influencers out there. Nakatomo. Belanda. Sparta Prague are still behind as we reach out for half-time. And it's Mariano. Chip through. <laughs> Rafael.
Mata. Looks to slip it through. And it's La Fata. And that's been won straight back. Mavuba. Cadlitz. Mavuba. Thatcher. La Fata. Aimed long and direct, and it's Biabiani. Could move up a gear here, played out to the right. Now here's the through ball. And he's there to cut it out. Mavuba goes looking. And there's the end of the first half. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. So off we go once more. Sparta Prague need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. And I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Nagatomo with the ball through. Oh, he's put too much on it. Fata. Out wide to the right. Tries a through ball. Oh, that is lovely footwork. He's left his man. Forward it goes. Lafata and the counter is on. Oh, he's come up against the brick wall there. Solchuk Inan. Belanda, who does have an assist to his name. And it's Belanda. Mariano tries lifting it over. That is terrific skill. Biapiani boots it to safety. Over to the left. And shoots! Oh, didn't catch it right. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. It so nearly came off for him. Yeah, he's been at the centre of a lot of things, hasn't he? Uh, mostly good, I should add. Fata, Sparta Prague, still this single goal behind. Cadlets gets it back. Belanda spreads it towards the left. Nicely controlled. There's no flag. Takes aim with a cross. Oh, that's an own goal! Oh, it's an unusual turn of events, and it was an honest attempt to help out, and I suppose it can happen to anyone. Played out to the wing. 
And he's made sure that that won't get through. Nakatomo plays it forward. Belanda. Sparta Prague may be thinking about substitutions now. They still have two available. Goalkeeper's ball. Thatcher. Mavuba tries to get it forward quickly. Lovely feet. And it's Vacha. Fakuli. Well, they can break here. Belanda pushes it out wide. Now the pass. Selchuk in on. Well, Red, he sorted that out. He's got away. Looks to clip it forward. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. There's some activity down on the touchline. Seems there's going to be a change. Belanda knocks it away. That shot. Aimed long and direct. Belanda. Nagatomo. Fakuli. Belanda. And it's Fakuli. Now it's Gomis. Is it in? That was venomous. Oh, he really wanted that. Yeah, and you can feel and hear how the crowd are reacting to all of this. Sparta Prague, their final change. Sparta Prague opting to make a double change here. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Out to the flank. Now here's the through ball. Take by the keeper, he's read that well. Lafata, <laughs> Inan. Sticks in a foot to win it back. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Great challenge. A real chance to break. Maikon goes looking. Passes it through. Lafata. Plays it out to the flank. Out wide to the right. And it's Vacha. Now it's Lafata. Lafata pushes it out wide. Up for the header! Oh, should have put that away. And he could have eased the pressure on his team by taking them within one of an equaliser. to win it back, forward it goes. He's through, now is he in? Mariano. Dinks one in, it's on a plate. Rapidly approaching the end. 
Two points out of nine, and soon to be none from 12 at this rate. He's gone long. It's La Fata! Fakuli. Aimed long and direct. Gomis. Floats one over. Look at the defender bombing forward. Now it's La Fata. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Carasso gets it upfield. Mariano. Vacha plays it forward. La Fata pings it out wide. Oh, sweet feet. Cut out in the nick of time. Fakuli. And there goes the final whistle. Sparta Prague are beaten. It is not the result they needed. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, it was engaging, if not an edge of your seat encounter, and importantly, it offered the right result. My thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening. I think we're just about ready to get going here. A warm welcome to you wherever you are in the world. I'm Peter Drury, and this is Jim Beglin. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is.
believed to be the two lineups. things running all Brighton Adrian Silva tries a through ball oh well defended that had to be done and it's boss looks to slip it through Vossen Adrian Silva just did a brilliant job there. It was one of those all-or-nothing commitments, and he came up trumps. Now the pass. That intervention was very necessary. And it's hoisted clear. Where to from here? Looks to... And a header! It's anyone's ball. And that has been clubbed away. Locks it in gently. And he's there to cut it out. James. Vardy plays it out to the flank. Simpson goes long. Simpson... Needed to come up with a better ball. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Deftly done. And the shot! Oh, the ball's come loose! That's a cracking strike, and it may have stung the palms of the keeper. Here, Nacho. Adrian Silva. James goes up and over, and Albrighton! Looking back on that, it was some save, and potentially a big moment for the keeper and this team. And it's Voss. Long and high towards the flank. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. It's a throw. In comes the crook and the finish! Kasper Schmeichel sends that a long way. Tries to get it forward quickly. Ebora. Now it's Vardy. Big chance! Full blooded challenge, and it had to be. Passes it through. Now here's the through ball. He's left his man. He's had a go. Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Still goalless. All Brighton. James, here Nacho, now it's Vardy, looks like a good ball through, just some clearance now, can anyone get on the end of it? More than happy to take the muscular approach, now it's Vossen, Pulled forward, what does he try from here? Aimed long and direct. A real chance to break. Fordy! Yeah, just thinking about the goalkeeper again. He really had to be at his best, didn't he? Fossen. Plays 
it into the channel. Now here's the through ball. And he just whacks it away. Now it's Foss and shoots! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. and that will come to nothing. All Brighton, we sit high. Fuchs going through. Aimed in massive leap. He's delivered all right. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. It's 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Played out to the right. And it's Iannaccio. Iannaccio passes it through. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Looking for a decent ball in. In towards the middle. Classy knocks it away. Forward it goes. Now a chance to break. James battles to win it back. Adrian Silva. James plays it forward. So they got the only goal to give them a 1 0 lead. Vardy. Iannaccio. Towards the flank, Fuchs clips what shapes the shoots. It's there! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. Silver with a predatory goal. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. For a moment you felt... And Fardy! And he's there to make a great save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. It so nearly came off for him. Vardy very nearly making something happen there. You can't keep a good man down. Tries to dink it in. Timely intervention. And the counter is on. 
Yeah, Nacho pushes it out wide. Mores. Spreads it wide. Ibora gets into the right position to intercept. And it's Simpson. Simpson tries to get it forward quickly. Iannaccio has a hit! They are rampant! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's it's terrific play to, to get through and score. without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Vossen. Dinks one in. Vossen. Crosses in a low one. And that'll be the last act of the first half. As easy as one, two, three, it really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change over the second half. This looks well and truly sewn up already, Peter, but please feel free to forget what I've just said if there's a spectacular turnaround. Really has been an astonishing game, peppered with goals. You cannot help feeling that the second half will supply more. We're already into the second period. So both teams emerge the same as they were before the break. It's the channel. That could spell trouble. Morris. Aimed low and direct. Vardy. And it's Simpson. Mares. Fordy! Defending was strong and firm. He'll have a dip! Ah, oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Looks to clip it forward. Adrian Silva goes looking. Here, Nacho. Now the pass. Tries a through ball. In with a header! No mistake! Ruthless and relentless! Utterly rampant! What a great header, got plenty on that. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Forward it goes. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, that's a wasted chance. Simpson. Mares. It's gone for a throw-in. And it's Iannaccio. Iannaccio with the ball through. Everything they would have spoken about in that dressing room during the break has a greater chance of happening thanks to the early goal. It's the perfect platform now to go on and, and try to win it. Mares. Adrian Silva. Now the pass. All Brighton. He's got away. Tries to cross. 
And that's out of reach. Vossen at his razor-sharp best there. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Bruges playing for pride here. The match surely be on them. It's Vardy. Vardy kicks it out wide. Fuchs looks to thread it through. Going for goal! Really well taken goal. Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and a good understanding to pull it off. He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch, devastating in front of the goal. What a display, what a player. to stop it right there. Now it's Vardy. All Brighton. Well, Red, he sorted that out. All Brighton tries to get it forward quickly. Vardy with a long pass out wide. Classy. Looks to slip it through. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. James. Well, it's normally around now that the managers think about making changes. Adrian Silva. Mares. And it's Iheanacho. He's lifting it over. Oh, real chance! And that's left him on the... And the shot! Foul right on the edge of the box. It could go either way here. A lot of furious gesticulation. But it is never going to make the referee overturn a decision. Dispatched with certainty. He just didn't let his nerves get through. He struck that with conviction. What a penalty. Tries a through ball. He's picked him out. Vardy has embarrassed himself a little there. He'll take some stick in the dressing room for that, I can tell you. It speaks for itself, doesn't it? Best left there.
Vardy. Looks like a good ball through. Here, Nacho gets on the end of it. Looks to dink one in. Ivora gets it back. Mares. Silva plays it forward. It's a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Aimed low and direct. Oh, they could break here. And it's Iheanacho. Tries a through ball. He's got through. Chance to shoot. All Brighton. Tries a header. That is faded wide. There's going to be another change here. Well, his stamina was called into question, then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Possum. Well intercepted, really alert to the danger. James. And it's Iheanacho. All Brighton. Iheanacho. Iheanacho really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Silva positions himself well and cuts it out. Now it's Vardy. And Vardy! Oh, there was plenty on that. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. Oh, he really wanted that. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious he's one of the biggest influences out there. Nacho. James. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Oh, good interception. It's gone a long way up and away. All Brighton. James. Kasper Schmeichel gets it upfield. Now it's Fardy. James tries to stroke it through. Managed to get it away. James. Chip through. Just stood firm. James. Mares. Now it's Vardy. Looks to slip it through. Hit into the middle. Up to meet it! Close, but time for no more. The whistle has gone. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Well, they approach this with a very definite game plan, and I think to a large extent they remain true to that, and we can give the manager a, a big pat on the back. My thanks to Jim alongside me, and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you.